party dog is in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Hey everybody, I'm here with Puffer Snoopers the G and every day I'm snuffling. Sorry about that folks, that two week downtime kinda turned into a four week downtime. Just had a little trouble getting back into my groove, but good times were had and I'm here now. And last time we were just wrapping up some side quests and then uh, we had word that Master Tao wanted to see us about something. So uh, let's see what's going on at the dojo. That's my name. Yes. To be honest, I'm a little rusty, so let's get a reminder. We'll just make Puffer Snoopers look foolish. <laughs> and our sensei does not appreciate that. Yes. Oh right, the Yonk Tree. Actually I do, but just looking stupid seems to be a theme for today. <laughs> I think he's getting increasingly exasperated. Master of the Art of Sniffing, okay, that we knew about. Right, and we did hear about that, we just have a little bit of a memory problem. Okay, best to start at the beginning. Makes sense. East Chili Field. Okay. No guesswork involved, at least. He just tells us to head right for the uh, East Chili Field. And we can do that easily enough. I sure do, Boris. Always a helpful man. Now. Well, I actually am having legit memory problems because now I already can't remember whether he said East Chili Field or West Chili Field. So I've completely forgotten whether I'm in the right place. And I'm not smelling anything in any part of the map, so I'm guessing it was, in fact, the other chili field. Fair enough. I'll just pass on through the village. Ah, okay. That's not a book, that's a scroll. And, hmm, it would appear we have to play yet another game of Mini Dog Drift. It's no substitute for proper dog drift, which, you know, one of these days I will hopefully get funded and turn into a reality, but, uh, until that time comes, we're just gonna have to follow penguins. Doing surprisingly well at it today for not having played this in about a month. Oh! Almost! PG is driving sideways with the best of them today. Oh, and in other news, during my extended downtime, I did make a serious push on Dark Souls after having not seriously played it in a long time, and I did finally finish it. 
and it is a wonderful game from beginning to end, which I cannot recommend enough if you somehow manage to avoid it for this long. Actually, even after finishing it, I jumped right back into New Game Plus, and I'm about halfway through my second run. I'm doing a more evil, less ethical run this time. And, uh... You know, it gets a lot harder, just like Demon Souls did, but, uh... Your weapons and your stats are so much better from your previous playthrough, and you get so many souls uh, in New Game Plus that it becomes a lot easier to level up. So it all kind of balances out. Except for the Four Kings. The Four Kings are absolute bullshit on New Game Plus. I think it took me like a dozen tries to finally beat the fuckers. Uh, also, remember what I said about uh, doing pretty well at the Penguin game this time? Not so much. But we'll get there. Because we always do. That's what being a Sniff Master in training is all about. Okay, whoop! Oh, popper snoopers. Come on now, this is getting painful. Yeah, apparently that rust I was feeling after a month down was not all in my head. Oh well. We'll just call it endurance training for the future Sniff Master. Kind of like that Japanese thing you always see where they meditate under a freezing waterfall. Now that wasn't even a new ice block, that's just shameful. Ah uh, well. Once again, waterfall training. Gonna take it a little slower this time and not kick in our drift factor quite so much. Hallelujah, Hollywood. We deserve a soak after that. Very nice. Alright. Sniff Master Book 1, where are you hiding? What is it in the igloo? Well, someone buried it at the front door. It's kind of odd. Wait, did I just rob somebody? Hmm. Oh well. Let's just take the shortcut back to the other side of the ice and hurry on back to Master Tao. I assume we have to uh, get the location of the next book of the Sniff Master from him. Because Fetch Quest is what being a Dog Islander is all about. Master, a little bit colder, a little bit wetter, but we are victorious. Well, that stands to reason. The Buffsville.
Yeah, I kind of thought if he was sending us back to Puffsville, there'd probably be a plot hook there of some sort. Looks like uh, it's time for our next visit to uh, check the status of the Octree. Which probably means a scene of some sort with Katasi. Well, we shall endure. Again, all more endurance training for the prospective Sniffmaster. Right on. Wow. Yeah, that has grown up quite a bit. Yeah, I know. I think it actually provides some decent shade now. No, Potassi, I'm pretty sure you couldn't. Considering you barely have limbs. <laughs> this tree has powers! Well, that was a short trip, but at least we got to see a sparkly onk tree. That counts for something, I think. Rather. Yes, we've established that. I don't need that many constant reminders. Yeah, actually I do, but we'll pretend we're not... See, I'm even failing my words. This two does come after one, but we're not ready yet. Ah, okay. More side quests. And more smells. Business as usual. Will a Geely Village. Okay, we can do that. But first, uh, Snow Village and Geely Village. Well, we were just pointed to the village uh, out east for our next plot thing, so let's go to Snow Village first. Alright, who wants a piece of big beautiful pupper snoopers? Uh, no question marks out in the open that I can see. Which means it must be somebody indoors. Mm. Oh! Hey, it's Henry! What do you need, Woof? Special grapes. Well, what's so damn special about him? Wait, we have those? I don't even remember finding that. Well, once again, it pays to be thorough. <laughs> well, that was simple. Alright, 
we are looking for Will. Where is Will? Must be indoors. You're not Will. Now oh, that explains it. We couldn't find Will because he was hiding in a cutscene. That's a fine attitude. If you want my respect, you have to play Dog Drift. Okay, we've got another mini game a slippery ice course. Wow, if we get that choice now, you know I'm taking that. Nope, we don't get a choice just yet. Okay, no hitting trees. That's pretty good general advice. As always, it's really hard to turn while dashing, but... We do have to uh, dash to get a good time, I'm sure. Nothing too complicated here. Ow. Uh, okay. That could have gone better, but, uh, you know, one does as one must. Fifty-one. That's not terribly good. Alright, just like the last minigame, it appears that was just the, uh, practice slash tutorial episode, so uh, now we got to do the real thing. Damn right I'll accept the challenge. Sniff Masters never back down. Oh, we do have a new course, and well, that's nice. Oh, well, it does move at a decent clip. This might not be a complete walkover. I see the sand doesn't really do any harm to your control, it just slows you down. I have to have a care with the trees. Oh, shit. Even just a slight increase in your base speed over walking speed will make you fall. I think we'll have the right idea there, taking the roundabout route. Oh shit, I've done this all wrong. Well, live and learn. <laughs> they make me finish. Oh well. I am slow. That was pretty shameful. I can't win them all. Life lessons, too, are part of becoming a sniff master.
And what have we learned? We've learned not to take the worst possible route. Also, try not to get too fancy with the trees. Oh, I don't even have to run through the sand. Oh, hopper snopers, do it properly. Hopper snoopers, turn, goddammit. Turns like a drunk. Okay, we're on the same route as Will, we just have to sprint like mad. No, we are not gonna make that. That is not happening. At least we made it a little closer that time. Yeah, yeah. I may be slow on turf, but you know if I could select the ice track, I would be completely smoking you. No one can match Puffer Snoopers at Dragon Sideways. Third time's a charm, right? Ah! No! right on my literal tail. That is unacceptable. So we got a nice long straightaway ahead of... Hopper Snoopers, what the hell was that? Come on, go, 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 go. No! Go, 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 go! Choking on my own rage here. Well, we are getting a little closer every time. If these trends continue... Hey! No! Tar- Completely wrong! Okay, apparently my issue this time is... Cannot reach flags. Okay, a little bit behind. Lot behind. There's only one way I'm gonna pull this one out. Up. Oh! So much for that. No, at this point I do not think beating you will be easy. I'm actually kind of surprised at how difficult this minigame is for such a, you know, apparently young player-oriented kind of game. I sincerely apologize, dear Interplops. This is a bit more repetition than I would uh, prefer to subject you to. Don't 
Don't miss the flag, don't miss the flag. Yes! Don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. <laughs> That's not what don't means, pupper snoopers. Ooh. No tailgating, William. <laughs> Blind LPs, folks. Blind LPs. I can't believe I'm actually stuck in the Dog Island. Flag! Thank you. I beat Dark Souls, I'm more than halfway through New Game Plus, and I am stuck in the Dog Island. Something is wrong with this picture. Neck and neck, anyone's game here. Okay, I'm ahead. Gotta stay that way, gotta not miss the gate. Gotta not hit any trees. Alright, nice corner cut. At long last! I pray Will doesn't want a rematch. I'm occasionally fast. <laughs> Not my proudest moment here on I Played a Thing, folks. Yeah, my sentiments exactly, P. Next plot coupon. Fair enough. All right, let's see. We got any new distress signals? <clears throat> Indeed, we do. In the northern sandy desert. Can we actually get there? Nice hat. Yes, we have established that. A quicksand stick. I'm guessing Jeremy's gonna get involved here. He's got the magic stick. Maybe not. It looks like Sair here is a weather master uh, in his own right. As 
Is it around here? Oh, yes it is. I'll just have to follow this trail very carefully. Try to get there before we cook. Oh, and mine the cobras. Ah! The other way, I'm following a sniff trail. Got no time for your nonsense. If we ignore him, he'll go away. And it actually worked. Well, that's pretty cool. Getting a little toasty though. I hope this uh, trail resolves itself before too much terribly longer. Now it's going to lead us by an oasis. That should help matters. Chug a lug, strawberry man. No time for your nonsense. You just go ahead and stare angrily at my ass for as long as you want. I got business to attend to. Success. Now, uh, where was our, where was our guy? Now he's gonna be southward near the village, if I recall correctly. So now that we don't have to follow the trail, we can just haul ass past all the cobras before our throat gets too parched. It makes life quite a bit easier. Where'd you go, dude? There you are. By helping you sell your, I help myself. That's what Sniff Mastery is partially about. In other words, do more side quests. Fair enough. Well, I'll give you that one, Potassi. You do have a relevant point every once in a great while. So let's sniff out some trouble and then get out of here before we melt. Pupsville and Rune Village. Well, we haven't even uh, discovered that place yet, so going back to Pupsville seems like the thing to do at this point in time. Before we bore us out of here, though, healing up seems like a decent idea. Pink of health, fresh as a daisy, let's do this. Ok. 
Okay. Who wants me? Ah, there we are. I was wondering when the cow dog would have a mission for us. Hey, nice goggles. Oh yeah, we had one of those back at uh, Peroro Town, wasn't it? Oh ho! We fly something into the sky. Doesn't matter what, just anything that can go airborne. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You're easily entertained, Wilbur, but that's not a bad thing. Floating above in my air balloon. I thought if you came, maybe we. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk right. Yeah, watch out for those star festivals, though. They'll do a number on any little sisters you have lying around. Burning water. Wait a minute, Wilbur, are you asking for fire water? <laughs> well, I guess you can't have a good festival without booze, huh? Alright, next mission, get Wilbur drunk. But first, mail. Um, yeah, we knew that. That's kind of why we're on this mission. Everything's okay on this end, Mom. But, uh, doesn't sound like you can say the same. Marlin. Okay. Wow, our little sis has expensive taste. Have we ever caught Marlin? I can't remember. Mm, doesn't look that way. <clears throat> okay, if I don't find one in my travels soon, then I will just uh, consult the interblops and find out where I can get one. Oh, wait a minute. I am really having memory problems today because I've forgotten where we're supposed to look for that fire water. Oh wait, no. No, I haven't. It was supposed to be in Dry Valley. And that's where we haven't gone yet. So, we will head back the way we came. and we can find some delicious libations. Okay, we are on the right track. Hey, hey Cobra. Revenge! All 
right this way. I'll try and be quick about it. Because we are trying to keep ourselves from melting. Oh, lost track of it. Grab some passion fruit while we're here. That's not what I was looking for. Oh well, if we don't need it now, we surely will eventually. So let's make a drink stop. And the where, pray tell, is the booze. The eternal question. Oh wait, we're just in North Sandy Desert. We need to proceed onward to Dry Valley. Not thinking today. But at least we've got that flower that someone's gonna ask for eventually. Oh wow, they're keeping the booze in some kind of beaker. That's classy. It's science booze. What the hell is... Oh. Buzzard. I don't like the idea of flying enemies. The bats were a bit of an aggravation. Okay, I'm not in the perfect spot. There we are. Hey! Nobody likes your style. Oh, shit. That buffalo or bull or whatever it is can uh, spot me from quite a ways off, it appears. Oh, what's this then? A uh, yellow cobra. Okay. Well, you know what? Before we make that delivery to Puffs and Hill, let's proceed onward and see if we can reach a new town or something. Oh, yeah, Rune Village, right up ahead. Very nice. Also, that uh, dead end in the upper right-hand corner is rather suspicious to me, so I'm gonna check it out. Let's see if we can avoid incurring the wrath of that there yellow cobra. No smells. This has to be meaningful in some way. Doesn't smell like anything, though. Oh, well, probably someplace we have to visit in the future. <clears throat> Whoa. Well, if that buzzard will leave us alone, we've got a mystery smell. And it is a pomegranate. Kind of interesting. I actually like pomegranates, but I don't like pomegranate juice. And that strikes me as slightly odd because pomegranates are mostly juice. But no, I only like them in their original uh, all of the fruit form. I don't even know what hit me there. Hey, meerkats! <laughs> they don't give a shit. Talk to Boris just in case we have to activate his travel point. Looks like we've got almost all of his travel points. Trey, what you got for me? herbs, ice cream, hot drinks, yeah, pretty much the usual. But we've got a shop here if we need one. 
Rune Caverns. Probably not something I want to mess with right now. Oh, Henry. And a gangbanger. I really wish you all wouldn't do that. With some effort, yes. We're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring us down. And I'm guessing that means a minigame, doesn't it? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Have to nose the ball right in the middle. Oh, I see. I kind of dung beat a little long. And I can't control the camera, which is a little awkward. Ready as I get. Alright, come on, Puffer Snoopers. I have the tiger. Hey, none of that noise. This is almost like sumo. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? it was very awkward. It really bears rather little resemblance to any real sort of soccer. That's almost impossible to turn without falling on your face. But we're getting there. Little by little, we're getting there. Thankfully, the uh, CPU seems to be even worse at this than I am. Now, what score are we playing to? My god, this is like watching walrus as fuck. Not that I've done that. Don't judge me! Okay, how the hell are we gonna get this out of the corner? Oh! This is going in entirely the wrong direction for my comfort. No, Pupper Snoopers! Toward the opponent's goal. The opponent's goal. No, Pupper Snoopers! No! <laughs> this is absurd. Yeah, if there's a technique to turning without falling down, then, uh... It eludes me completely. No, sir. No, you do not. Yeah, really, the technique to this, to the degree that there is one, seems to be to make progress when you can and wait for McCoy to screw up. Which, thankfully, he does pretty regularly. 
Not that I have room to talk, mind you. No, you don't. <laughs> this is so awkward. Ah! Not acceptable. See, I keep trying to actually control where I'm going, and that's where I fall down in the most literal sense. <laughs> this is the saddest sight. It's just like the dogs falling down show. It's like something that would be an idiocracy. Okay, we've got some exciting corner action going on again. Okay, puppers. No, puppers, snoopers. This is your opportunity. He's fallen! He's fallen! Absolutely no progress made! This is the worst! That's how you do pupper snoopers, you're a regular Pele. Please let it be best out of three. Oh, God damn it! we have to do this again. I think I just realized what the perfect word to describe uh, Dog Island Soccer is. <laughs> Sisyphean. <laughs> yes, I do not think there could possibly be a better word to describe this. Okay, that went much better than last time. And first to three appears to be the winner. Thank Ja. I don't even know why Puffer Snoopers was celebrating there. He's got nothing to be proud of, only slightly less to be ashamed of. Tassi. Alright, let's find out what Henry wants and then I think we'll make our fire water delivery and uh, maybe call it a day. And Special flower for your art. Your hesitation there, Henry, makes me think you're uh, up to no good, but... You know what, Henry? I'm not asking, so don't tell. I'm a little unsettled by this. Very much, thank you, Hildegard. Who's this? Well, you know, my name is Simon. Yeah, that does sound an awful lot like me, actually. Go ahead and get our free healing herb. Someone left it in the bed. Having a little party there.
All right, Henry. What abomination have you concocted? Oh, well, that actually looks kind of nice. Excuse me. Got a little of that special flower in my sinuses. <coughs> well, I do beg your pardon. A masterpiece from Henry. Okay. Not sure what we'll be doing with that, but uh, never mind. Let's finish checking out the town real quick, and then we'll make our delivery in Pupsville and call it a day. <laughs> uh, I'm not terribly excited by the hats. <coughs> This, on the other hand, is kind of classy. Sombrero! Nice! You know, it isn't really Pupper Snooper's style, but by God, I have to. I'm gonna stick with the goggles. What do we got here? That's cute. As is the bell. But I think I'm gonna stick with our bling for now. It doesn't go with the sombrero at all, which uh, makes it perfect. <laughs> ah, the glorious wrongness of it all. Room Caverns, Room Canyon. Various new places to explore. Let's finish checking out the town. Casball. Yes, we did kind of have our share of buffalo issues recently. Okay, I think that's everything here, so let's uh, head on back to Pupsville. And we'll start exploring some of those new areas next time out, I imagine. Alright, Wilbur, let's get this party started. Drunkenness and a hot air balloon. Sounds like a good combination to me. Anytime. <laughs> 
Wilbur, are you making the dead ass face? That's not your balloon, Potassi. You didn't even dig up the booze. See, that's why I'd never send up a drunken mouse as a pilot. Wait, did you make a balloon out of glass? I'm impressed you got it up for that long. Totally worth it. And I'll be right there with my psychedelic party hat. Yes, yes, Potassi, we heard. But that, I think, is for another time. Oh wait, we need to make a quick stop here. Almost made it through an entire video without this. Alright, my work is complete. finished for today. I thank you very much for joining me again. Sorry for the delay, and uh, hopefully I'll be back real soon in a somewhat more punctual fashion. See you then, and take care in the meantime.